Hi, I'm Sean Sable with the uh, New Florence Traders Market. We have uh, Sean McMillan here and Chris. Uh, he's the uh, new treasurer for Friendly Neighbors. Uh, Sean, I would like to give you an update on the uh, events that took place over the last week. Okay, just a little update. We had a meeting with Pat Piper this morning from the um, the Cook Township Community Center, and we got to see what all she's doing there for her community, and it inspired us quite a bit on some things that you know we can do to help ours. Also, we had a meeting with Kim Schaefer, uh, State Representative Reese's assistant, and uh, as we met with her before, she really enjoyed uh, reading our business plan and liked our ideas, and we wanted to follow up with her on our meeting with the school board, which we had last Wednesday, uh, the president of the school board and the superintendent, and that also went very well. And uh, we got to connect with Kim about our meeting with the with them last Wednesday. Um, yeah, and what inspired you whenever you went to the uh, Cook Township building? What there inspired you, you know, how, what effect or impact did they have on their community? And how do you think that you can, you know, take some of her materials mixed with yours? What impact are you going to proceed to our community? What are you looking to do? Um, what really amazed me is how much, uh, volunteerism is there. It's a much uh, smaller building than we're looking at, but they have, she said, over 400 volunteers that come there, and without volunteers, you can't keep it running. Well, stopping you right there, how many uh, people do we have in our organization with the friendly neighbors? Over 1,300. So if we have 1,300 and we have a larger building, I really think that uh, if people become active, and can get excited about this. I really think that this can blow up into something huge. I mean, we can make a big impact on uh, families and lives and, you know, bring people back to this area, you know, make it a fun place and a family place, you know, to live. Chris, uh, what have you experienced, uh, you know, now that you're a treasurer with this organization? What, what are your experiences and, you know, what's happened to you lately? Uh, we, I, I was, uh, Voted in in December as a treasurer, and uh, since then we've had some people uh, donate through PayPal and things like that. Uh, we've had some other events and stuff, but uh, one thing I mean this this is growing to be something extremely big, and uh, yeah, we do need more people you know to become active members, and uh, you know like always we're always accepting any donations that any anybody has, and uh, you know. Anybody that's out there that's in need of anything, you know, don't be afraid to contact us and you know, we'll help out anybody in need. Yeah, and what items did you just pick up recently that you could possibly help people with? Uh, yesterday we picked up a washer and dryer and a uh, truck bed full of clothes. So if anybody's in need of that, uh, how did they contact you? What would you do? Uh, contact us through our uh, friendly neighbors uh, wall on Facebook and, uh, you know, you put your post there of what you're, what you're looking for and you know, what you're in need of. And one of the administrators will grant the post, and then we'll be in contact with you through there and set something up to deliver. Okay, I've also uh, accepted the position as a coordinator for this trader's market, and uh, we're offering the friendly neighbors a table, and we're donating, you know, our proceeds, you know, a portion of them for this organization. And how do they get on to your, uh, you know, friendly neighbors? Uh, to learn about it and become a member, what would you suggest they do? Uh, you just go to the search bar and uh, type in Friendly Neighbors. It'll say 1,300 plus members and it'll say that it's a group. Uh, click on that and then it'll bring you to the page and you want to click on Join. And once you mm -hmm. click on Join, it'll send me a notification to uh, approve. Yeah, and just to uh, give an update too, we are starting to get some phone calls and starting to. Uh, you know, book our property here. You know, you're welcome to a 10 by 10 space. Uh, we have optional packages. We're willing to work with you. And uh, again, it's it's just a good cause. If uh, anybody's been down here for New Florence Days, the community opens up. It's huge. There's a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of stories being told. 
and uh, you know it's a great opportunity to you know get rid of things that you might have in the house that's just sitting there collecting dust. You know you might want to just you know come down even for a day or a weekend to see if you could sell it. So uh, you know it's exciting. We do have a couple vendors uh, calling and signing on now, and uh, also uh, you know we're looking for talents. Uh, we have uh, across the street an organization of uh, senior citizens and we're going to have some benches in front of a stage which is our porch and we're looking for kids to come up and tell silly jokes we're looking for people to come and stand and give speeches maybe on foods or health um, environmental things uh, we're looking for musicians kids coming out you know maybe they want to play you know for these uh, seniors and to the organization and who knows we might walk by you might want to hand out you know, cards and sell your CDs if you're, you know, a band starting out. So, you know, please call us. Uh, the numbers are on our building. We just got a brand new sign. It's beautiful. It's uh, on our porch, you know, donated to us from the uh, friendly neighbors. And, you know, it, there again, it's just a great organization that we believe in. And, uh, you know, we want, uh, you know, your support in the community. Come on down and help these vendors out purchase some things, have some fun, bring your kids, let them stand on stage and, uh, you know, be their silliest, you know, let them have fun. And also friendly neighbors will be there uh, out front. We'll have information on the group, uh, information on the school project that we have coming up and uh, we'll have a drop off location. If anybody has any material donations, they'd like to, um, give us to help needy families in the area or anybody struggling, um, you can drop them off with us at the Traders Market. Okay, I'd like to thank uh, both Chris and uh, Shauna for coming out and just giving you an update where we're at. So hopefully you pick that phone up, give me a call and reserve your spot. Hope to see you there.